Look, let's get clear about Fukushima. Let's be clear. This is crimes against humanity. Operator of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant has released a video clip showing the inside of one of the reactors. This was the first footage shot inside the reactor since the accident last year. The utility recorded a half-hour video on Thursday by running an endoscope through a hole in the number two reactor's containment vessel. Tokyo Electric Power Company released an edited one-minute version of the video. It begins inside the opening leading to the containment vessel. As the endoscope reaches the interior, white dots caused by gamma rays appear. Reddish-brown walls and pipes are also visible, although most of the images are blurry. Condensed vapor from contaminated water appears as white lines in the clip. The video will be used to determine the depth of water that has collected on the bottom of the vessel. A foothold located four meters above the bottom of the vessel also appears in the video, leading the utility uh, to say that the contaminated water is less than four meters deep. These are crimes against humanity. People should be go to prison. TEPCO is also surveying the plant's underground areas for radioactive water. The utility says it has found 500 tons of highly radioactive water near the number two reactor. The, containment, uh, uh, the contaminated water was found in a pit on Thursday. The pit has a valve which is used for pumping in seawater. The water contained over 16,000 becquerels of radioactive cesium per cubic centimeter. That's the highest level of radioactive substances found in this month's survey. The utility also found 600 tons of water containing 860 becquerels of cesium per cubic centimeter in a pit near the number three reactor. TEPCO says the level of radioactivity in seawater near the number two and three reactors remains unchanged. That means that radioactive water is likely to have leaked uh, or, or unlikely to have leaked, that is, into the ocean. The company will look into how the contaminated water got into the pits. And Fukushima is the most evil thing that's happened to this fucking world, maybe ever. The number of foreign visitors to the country posted a record drop in 2011 in the wake of the March 11 catastrophe. Japan's tourism agency says the number of visitors was down 28 percent from the previous year for a total of 6.2 million. HK World's Rina Nakano reports from one of Tokyo's most popular destinations. People from all around the world come to Tokyo's Asakusa neighborhood to shop and see traditional Japanese cell architecture. Rain or shine, this temple attracts more than 3 million foreign visitors every year. Well, in general, we like Japan out to now, even if it was just one week. My family encouraging me to come here. That's okay for me. And I like Japan. But 2011 proved to be a difficult year for the people who run the shops at this outdoor market. Statistics show the number of tourists dropped sharply after Japan's nuclear accident, and so sales dropped too. It was terrible. There were no customers, and the store was empty. However, ten months after the disaster, things are slowly improving. I've always been a fan of Japan. I've come here numerous times. Obviously, I looked up uh, sort of the websites and all that on the nuclear scare, but it seems that like they've done a pretty good job with them um, with cleaning it up. So, warning, warning, bullshit alert. So, it wasn't really an issue for me in the end. Do you know why he proposed to me last year? It's after the disaster, and uh. we, we saw that it's the, the disaster is so terrible. So many people died, and we are still living. Business is getting better, but we haven't seen a full recovery. Sales are probably around 80 to 90 percent of what they used to be. But Fukushima is the biggest nuclear disaster in the history of the world by a thousand times. North Korea says its new leader Kim Jong-un oversaw nuclear weapon testing before he emerged as his father's heir two years ago. This is the first time North Korea has mentioned Kim Jong-un's involvement with nuclear weapon testing. North Korea conducted underground nuclear tests in 2006 and 2009. It said last month that it planned to continue its nuclear development program. The revelation that Kim Jong-un oversaw North Korea's nuclear testing appears to be an attempt to dispel the idea that he's young and inexperienced. TEPCO should be in prison, every last one. The Japanese government should all 
be in prison. They should be tried at the Hague, but not only that. And I really believe this will happen down the road. The world media, the ones who you, I can prove, and I document, through, I can prove that they intentionally, intentionally downplayed Fukushima. I don't know if it was state-run television or a conspiracy just from the corporate elites. I can prove. I, I have documented proof through my videos how CNN, Sanchez Guta, and these guys went out of their way, everything they did to try to downplay this thing. This thing, if it, that is a crime. That is a crime against humanity. The board members of CNN, Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS, BC, they all should be tried for crimes against humanity. Sanchez Guta individually should go to prison. I understand Cooper individually should go to prison. His producers should go to prison. Let's remember this. They were at Fukushima. They were there. How long were they in Haiti? How long were they in Phuket? Okay, when they're there, the wind was blowing out. Okay, as soon as the wind shifted, they knew it was going to shift back over to Tokyo. They backed out to Tokyo immediately. As soon as the wind swept over the mainland, they came home. They put up, they did a subject matter on it every night. I followed along, and they brought this asshole from MIT, and they downplayed it intentionally, intentionally. They knew that Gupta does his health program in the morning. Two weeks ago, a lot of people watch that. This is a man who was going to be Surgeon General. You don't think that's credibility? Obama nominated him for the Surgeon General. He turned it down. This is a man who had a Japanese doctor. Come on. This is the most irresponsible. This is, it's criminal. Japanese doctors say, oh, a little bit of plutonium is good for you. Wow. Then he had this punk from Michigan. I was laying in my bed in 1986 when Chernobyl happened. And I thought, huh, there's some freelance punk, fat, doughboy punk who has it. No credibility, no clue, no fucking nothing. So I took a trip over there a couple of years going, ha, 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 it's nothing, it's perfectly fine. Right as I was spewing and everybody was spewing saying that they're just pushing the plutonium into the Pacific. That's the only difference in the plume. That's what they've done the whole time. Instead of the air plume, that has plumed four full core meltdowns has poured in the Pacific. There's been enough plutonium pouring in the Pacific a thousand times more than Chernobyl, the open uh, F, F plutonium in the history of the world has been pushed into the Pacific. I'm ran it. Scientists are starting to ran it. So what does Guta do? Ta puts up a f some people fishing. Oh yeah, they fish in Chernobyl. I don't know if you've seen any of the documentaries out of Chernobyl the Ukraine. That whole area is still liver than fuck. While I'm in the I, I'm fighting with chemo right now. I'm going back in the hospital Monday for more chemo. I came as close to death as you can. You know, I'm full of it. A little girl from Chernobyl died in 21 years. For, well, not from Chernobyl, from the Ukraine. There are still thousands of people dying that were born later from it. And that was entombed how many freaking days after? It's still, so that is the most irresponsible piece of fucking journalism there ever was. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. AML, not CML, not juvenile, AML leukemia, the evil fucking monster it is, which is an evil killer that can attack anyone. And it fucking kills people. It is evil. I'm full of it. My father died from it. It is man-made. It is man-made. Fact. Fact. AML, two known causes. Exposure to nuclear radiation. Gilded in gold, cast in gold. Fact, exposure to Kimball's like benzene. Them are the two known. And the world media, TEPCO, these guys down, but we know what it is now. You know how much fucking plutonium has been pushed into the fucking Pacific? When that orange slew come up on the in Alaska, you know, many months ago, what was that? Some morphodite from freaking, you know, Fukushima? The people who downplayed that intentionally, that world health organization, the IAEA, the NRC, all these agencies, the world media, TEPCO, the Japanese government, our own government, the world governments of the world, they believe they, they're going to be tried for crime. This is going to kill so many fucking people. This is the biggest nuclear disaster on steroids a hundred times over. It is freaking Chernobyl on Balco. People used to say, how the fuck you... I've been fucking heavily involved in this since I was a kid. My father was an atomic veteran, nuclear dead. Now I'm full of fucking leukemia, fighting for my life. Stay tuned with me. I will not give this cause up until the fucking day I die. And let's hope that I stay alive. And I can keep pushing this agenda. And I have pushed this agenda. This is nothing new to me. This is about credibility. These fuckers are evil. The world media, especially CNN, especially the way they handled that... <laughs> They are fucking evil. Those producers should be charged civilly, yes. 
I'd love to see those motherfuckers. Criminally, they knew exactly what they were doing. It was malice. It was pre-fucking meditated. It is fucking pure evil. Boy, was I a freaking hypothesized forward. Travel Fukushima, Japan. We are already there. We are all residents. Now I'm full of leukemia. Kevin Blanche.